everyone, and thank you for joining me for today's tutorial on Seesaw. This is Jen Bulos, BPS Digital Learning Coach, and today we are focusing on how to create an assessment in Seesaw. So if you haven't seen this yet, it's pretty fantastic. So to get started, you'll notice I'm in my library and I'm going to click on Create Activity or Assessment. So the Creative Canvas is going to bring us to the area of Seesaw that most of us are familiar with, but if you haven't visited in a while, you're going to notice here now we have the ability to add assessments. And these assessments can be auto-graded for us, saving huge amounts of time and giving us more time to really focus in on our students and their learning and their progress. So to create the assessment, you'll start by giving it a name, and I've already practice with this a bit. So we're going to do one on the branches of government. So next I'm going to click on assessment. And you'll notice here now I have the ability to choose th three different types of questions, multiple choice, true, false, or a poll to gather student opinions or preferences. I'm going to go ahead and click on multiple choice. I also can select a response type, either classic or drag and drop. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the classic type. And then the feedback mode, this is for students. So students can practice and check their work as they go. So this is a very low stakes assessment, a traditional formative assessment. So students can give themselves that quick check for understanding and, and then ask questions if they need additional support or maybe um, it's time for them to move on and be more challenged. The other type of mode would be assessment mode where students would receive results after you have approved their results. Um, so, or their, their posts, I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and click on practice mode. Now you can manually start typing in questions about the branches of government, or as you can see here, that little bot indicates that there is some AI now built into Seesaw. So we can search for a topic. We can look for either multiple choice questions or true false. We are prompted here by Seesaw to be as specific as possible to get the best results. And then also we're reminded that while AI is very powerful, we are the content area experts. So we wanna make sure that the results that are generated are accurate. So that being said, you can see here, I've done a recent search. I click on branches of government and now I have all of these questions. If I like these questions, and this is what aligns with my curriculum and the standards, I can hit add. You'll notice this drop down here says to the current page or to a new page. If you select current page, I'm gonna show you what this looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit add. I'm gonna select four. You'll see that was added. This one was not, so I'm gonna, now it's added three and four. Okay, now I'm going to X out of that. Now it looks like I just have one question here, right? So I'm gonna click on preview as a student. What are my students gonna see? So who's the leader of the executive branch in the United States, president, check my work. That is correct. So that's what the students are gonna see. Now you may be wondering where are the other questions? So just be aware that if you say add to the current page, you need to drag and drop. So you can put the questions all on one page and resize. You'll notice you can resize, but this is a great customization feature that um, you'll know your students best and you'll know if this sort of all the questions on one page is sufficient or um, if your students would prefer to have one question per page. So I just thought this was a really fantastic update to Seesaw that um, combines some powerful AI with some auto grading features and it's all standards aligned. Um, so I hope this has been helpful and that you will give this assessment tool a try. Thank you so much for watching.